Hi there, this is Osa with another process video and today I'm working with one photo and I'm literally working with scraps. This is the pile that I've chosen for this page and it's the a multicolored um, pile. I had this strip or, or you know the paper with the coffee mugs or the coffee cups that I love so much that I have not used it entirely. I'm convinced to make a coffee layout with this one and uh, I looked at those uh, coffee cup strips that I had and I realized that if I want to go with that strip this is a good opportunity to to go multicolor and totally showcase the vari variety of colors in this collection so I uh, went with the floral the big floral which is so fun and funky and uh, I'm going with that strip of uh, coffee cups and then I'm just using bits and pieces that I have left. So every all the colors from the, the collection and uh, I'm using also this uh, lovely selfie of my daughter and myself and uh, it's taken uh, when we were away on our uh, first weekend uh, summer um, vacation uh, adventure and uh, we were walking from our uh, hotel cabin to the restaurant where they served the breakfast. It was a walk uh, a couple of minutes and uh, it, it was this like morning we were on vacation it was new and everything was fresh and the sun was shining you know the feeling uh, really really positive and a really fun feeling and uh, I, I felt that this could be the first <laughs> but first coffee kind of layout that I was was looking for because we were going to breakfast and, and that's coffee for me <laughs> and and a couple of other things uh, so I'm just building here it, it's like a, a pile of all these pattern papers and uh, I'm to, to like put everything on top of something I decided on this green strip of cardstock as my shelf like I mm, often do uh, a shelf to place everything on and uh, it's a bit darker if you compare it to the rest of the colors uh, in this collection and uh, therefore it's a really nice shelf because it's, it's it grounds everything and I'm also combining it with strips of that mm, like teal uh, cardstock as well and then I place everything uh, like in a triangular kind of design with the weight to the right and a little bit less weight to the left and I'm balancing everything out with a corner cluster in the upper left corner and this is just one of these classic uh, designs that uh, I tend to drift to words when I don't have anything other planned and especially for these one photo layouts mm, what should I say more about this I had strips small small like really tiny ones uh, a couple of millimeters only from some of the pattern papers and I'm placing those with this collection uh, like strips by the uh, this shelf that I was talking about I've chosen yellow die cuts from the die cut pack I have some flowers going on and pretty much I'm just following the collection this is a very collection based layout and I loved the fact that I could go with these co coffee uh, cups they are really pretty and, uh, and that's really uh, you have you know I've been talking about it the, the symbol of the coffee cup it's it's really dear to me it, it, it uh, speaks to me and my my <laughs> my coffee addiction and, and I like I like to have the opportunity to to uh, go with the coffee theme and still stay within uh, the yeah the, the the occasion on the photo because this is really we are going to to breakfast and and that's yeah that's totally cool <laughs> so I have this huge uh, hello uh, die cut and I'm writing hello today and uh, that's like inside the 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 layout this is on top of everything else and later I will come back with some word stickers and and do the lesson uh, 
already now I see. <laughs> uh, these are puffy, th uh, puffy, puffy thickers and I love them. They are shiny. I, that's really fun because I, I seldom have, every, have anything shiny in my layouts. So this is totally a different kind of texture and it suits me perfectly. And these are, are black and they are really uh, easy to work with. Uh, I, I don't think they are uh, easy to, to cut into and, and make into new mm, uh, like new uh, uh, letters if you if you miss an a you can usually take a, a d and cut off the, the the longer part and you have an a but uh, that's i don't think that's possible with this but anyway i i love the font and i i will love using it and and perhaps i will even try to find new ones because it has inspired me a lot just this this shiny texture uh, I'm going with the same method as I've done now for a couple of weeks with placing alpha bet stickers onto uh, um, like a, a piece of white cardstock so that you, I create a border around the word and that's where I uh, write men first cafe so so that's basically this but first coffee it, it has become almost like a, a internet phrase but I this time I'm writing it in Swedish and uh, yeah this is basically the layout <laughs> but first coffee so hello today but first coffee now when I've been working with this collection for quite some while I'm getting a little bit um, like tired of the hello word it's a lot of hello in this collection and and of course it's an easy word to to just <laughs> throw around but but now i i'm starting to think it's it's a bit too much and i don't think that i will use the word hello <laughs> anytime soon in my in my uh, scrapbook to come uh, in contrast to the layout that i did last the one where i made my whole uh, photo block kind of drift into the background. I'm making this a bit more contained with a pencil or a pen line all around some of the larger uh, pattern paper pieces and and I think that made a really nice um, like effect and and, and it, it gave the layout a little bit more definition. I like this one. It's fun, it's bright and it's multicolored and it's uh, yeah it's not that much me it's a bit fresh and new and it's playful and it goes really well with my daughter's personality and her cap <laughs> here are some close-ups of the finished page i hope that you enjoyed the process video and i hope to see you soon here again take care this is awesome bye